Hey, it's Ben Hassel here, and here in this tutorial, we're going to be having a look at how we get icons or logos um, for the different tutorials that we're making. So, whether you're working in Photoshop or Final Cut Pro or different applications like InDesign or Illustrator um, or any kind of app that you're making tutorials for on the Mac, then this will show you how to get a high quality usable image um, from the applications that are already installed on your computer. So basically you want to find first of all the app that you're going to grab the, the thumbnail uh, from. Uh, we'll actually jump into Photoshop uh, CC 2019 here and if we double click into the folder here um, you can see we have the, the Photoshop app. So what we can do here to actually kind of dive into this folder is right click and go to show package contents. Now, just a note about this, don't delete anything from this folder. It will potentially uh, stop your Photoshop from working. But then once we're in here, if we click uh, in the search and type in ICNS, it will basically uh, bring up this file or all these different kind of icon files. Um, and this one in particular for the Photoshop app icon ICNS, that's what we're actually looking for in here. So if we right click on this, we're gonna go to open with and preview. And you can see I've also done this for kind of Final Cut Pro 2. Uh, but once we're in here, if we stretch this out, what you want to do is look for the highest quality icon in here. So this is the, the first one. But if we have a scroll down, we'll see some of these lower quality uh, kind of icons um, that are also available there. So we don't want to use any of these. We want to kind of grab the number one uh, largest icon. So once we've got this selected, if we go to File and Export, then in the export window, it's just gonna select the kind of page here that we have selected. We're gonna save this out as a PNG and we'll save that to the desktop. I'll call this Photoshop logo and we'll click save and then we can close up preview. So the PNG that we saved out there um, will be the same quality. It's kind of a lossless uh, way of getting that icon out. Um, and then if we come into Final Cut Pro, um, just as an example, I'm going to hide this logo. And we can now go into Final Cut Pro uh, or into Photoshop. And I'm going to go to my desktop here. So Shift, Command and D. And then we'll grab that logo. We can drag it onto our timeline here. And now we have a nice high quality logo that we can then position um, if we're making a Photoshop tutorial on the bottom left and away we go. So basically we have there our logo for Photoshop and whether we're creating a Photoshop or a Final Cut Pro tutorial, that's a great way of getting the icon um, that you need for kind of creating your YouTube thumbnails and, and that type of thing. Hopefully this has been useful, um, whether you're creating tutorials for Photoshop, for Final Cut Pro, for InDesign, uh, or any other applications, uh, then you want to tell your audience uh, kind of what your tutorial is all about and the icon uh, definitely helps to do that. So leave any comments you have below um, or I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.